Welcome back to our next part of building the fire bug. As you can see, we've got Chine 1 uh, already sitting on the boat. Um, this is pretty much the same process of putting the gunnels in. Um, these two are, are quite easy in that they only bend one way and they come straight down the boat. Main thing is in putting these ones in is uh, making sure they're 300 from the centre line. Once I've put them in, I've actually gone through, and as you can see here at the bow, I've um, just planed down the bow here so that they uh, line up and I've done that down the boat here at uh, bulkhead number two which is the front of the cockpit and bulkhead number three at the back of the cockpit um, you remember this one was a little bit high here uh, as it went through so I've had to not only just plane down the angle but I've actually had to take it down and um, you know that's probably the best decision to do that because uh, this try and coming through here is going to make a fair curve because it's just a piece of wood bending and uh, if we didn't have that fair curve um, on the uh, girder going through um, we would end up actually with you know two curves on the bottom which is actually not what we want when we're trying to put a flat piece of ply across so our decision to um, take the excess height off here rather than planing down the girder uh, in hindsight it's a good one, didn't think about that at the time but uh, that was a good decision and I've done the same thing back here at the stern of planing that down I've actually laid across the bottom already um, make sure that uh, everything's looking reasonably okay and uh, ready to glue down Right, to let chine number two in uh, here up at the bow um, we've got chine one in and I've cleared it off at the right at the bow to uh, get the front edge of it out of the way. These are not glued in yet, but uh, they'll set back on their marks once we put the screws back in. Um, like before, as the bow come, as the chine comes in, we end up with that slot on the other side here. And this is the area that we want to line this up with. So we don't want to move these lines here because that's exactly where we want it. And you can see on the front side of the bow here well, I've just drawn a line uh, six millimeters away. That's how much I need to move the front across. Um, possibly need to move this down a little bit as well um, across here, but we'll deal with this bit first and then we can um, adjust this once we've got that chine sitting in nicely to that mark and hopefully nicely against this. As you can see, we've got that cut away at the front there now. If I Move my chine across. Now it's sitting in there. Get focused quite nicely, and uh, you can just see the angle that needs to come down. So we'll just measure that at the back, and we'll take that off at the front. Right, here's the final position of chine two. See, so I've uh, taken that down there now, and so it's nicely sitting get in here right into the slot that we wanted uh, see this edge here is intersecting the rear side of the bow which is where our station line is so it's all sitting in the right place and obviously these two flats that we've got here on the side of the chines is where the um, that bilge panel is going to sit um, we just need to make sure that those both line up as well easiest way to do that is just to put a, um, a flat bit of uh, wood across it just make sure that it's flat and uh, just use the plane to uh, flatten them up right at this point now we have the, both the number two chines on and if we just move in and have a look at the bow here I'll uh, put this bit of wood across and we can see how the plank is going to sit. Um, as you can see it's sitting quite nicely on the flats and as we move that forward we'll start to see that um, we're getting a bit of space under that chine number one there. As we move right forward you can see that there's no way that a plank's going to rest uh, nicely on that. That's no problem at all, we just need to use our plane 
and we just keep this board as the reference just to check and we can just uh, level those out so we've got a nice flat for our bilge panel to sit on. Here we are standing back and uh, having a look. It really is starting to shape up and uh, look like a boat. Um, obviously we've got a lot of work before we're sailing but um, we've come to a point here where we stop building the boat and we start actually working on the boat as we're uh, painting, putting fittings on and doing all those other auxiliary items. Now we've got our chines on, uh, the next stage here will be to glue them on and then we need to start working on um, shaping things for our panels to go on. So it's just little things here like at the bow where we need to now actually take this off so that we have a flat surface lining up the gunnel and the chine number two there. Um, obviously as I showed before we've already done the bow, um, so we move down the boat. Um, if we just put a ruler across, it'll just be making sure that it's sitting flat on uh, both these flats. Um, and a light brush with a plane will uh, get it right. And um, making sure that these bulkheads are, are clear. And the other thing that we need to do is we need to tape over these temporary bulkheads with um, packing tape before we do our gluing, um, because we don't want to glue them into the boat and uh, then we'll be ready for putting the panels on. Here's our glue to uh, stick these chines on. As you can see it's it's uh, it's such a state that um, it's thick enough to hang on to the end of the, my little um, ice cream stick here. Um, so that's about what the consistent, consistency that you want. And uh, back over to the boat. As you can see I've just basically release the chines at the bow um, that way I can glue them down and then screw them back down and uh, know that they're going to line up and um, I'll do the uh, gluing at the uh, station number two there, the front edge of the cockpit um, as well and so screw down the front of the chines back down and then release the aft end of the chines and then glue those on rather than taking them <coughs> excuse me, off the boat completely and then having the, the problem of trying to refit them uh, where we've uh, cut them to. Right, chines are glued on now and I just uh, move forward here. Uh, remember that this boat has two buoyancy compartments. The first one is uh, forward of station two here up to the bow and the second buoyancy compartment runs down the side of the cockpit and behind uh, station four here at the back end of the cockpit. So when we um, cut these chines in we end up with what's called a limber hole, it's quite a natural sort of limber hole. This is an area where if we do end up with any water inside here it can easily drain from the uh, side um, of the cockpit here into behind the cockpit uh, in which you can then get the water out. Forward of that, we just need to dam up the similar piece uh, so that we have two distinct buoyancy compartments, one at the forward, one at the rear as explained. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of epoxy uh, here and I will file that down um, before we put our planks on.